waiting, standing still at the same speed. But when the starting gun cracks its cold command across the back of the Kentucky afternoon, there's a hush in the air and the crowd lifts up out of their seats and briefly their lives. And it's like that second that love stops winking its shadowed eye so you finally move to close in when whatever you bid on a minute ago has faded from the sheets where you thought you had circled a winner and the track was tested and sure but listen a favorite is only a good looking plug that's been beating the odds until now just lift up the gate and his ankle could twist like a question in the mud or take off his blinkers, spook him with the hooves of the horse next door, and he's running the other way. A turn of the weather, the wrong batch of oats could throw a wall of air in front of anything. A lover's heart, or the nose of a horse whose neck is stretched across the finish line, where the sun has shifted left, his own shadow coming in first. this just in case. <laughs> um, this is called Instructions for My Funeral. Buy me a new suit for crying out loud. The suits in my closet reek of weakness and my mistress's musky sweat. Tell my wife how ridiculous love became after all those years. Tell my children that I should have hired other fathers to make up for the one I wasn't. Invite my parents. Never mind that they're long buried. Write out an invitation and mail it to their graves. Most important, make sure that I am really dead. All those stories you hear about fingernail scratches and knuckle prints on coffin lids. Stick me with needles, set fire to my toes. And then, when you are very, very certain, hire a harpist. Dress her, up, dress her like an angel starve her until she is translucent and wan. When the mourners arrive, seat them too close together. Give them something to complain about other than my death. Afterwards, take everyone out for coffee. Remind them that I didn't make them go to the cemetery, and that as they bite into their squishy donuts, a hole in the world is being filled in, and I am at the center of it. Tell the waitress, the check is on me. Thank you. And one last one. X-ray. When you see yourself as bones, you start to understand. Skin stripped from the picture, you see there is no key. It is only invisible heartache that keeps you locked inside the cage of your own brittle ribs. Thank you.